Hey guys, welcome to your Michigan Compass. Today, we're gonna check out several apple orchards and cider mills in the Michigan area, and we're inviting you to come along with us. Our first stop today is Markilly Orchard in Howell, Michigan. It's a smaller orchard. They do, however, have cider, donuts, and an ice cream dessert that you can order as well. You can buy apples, but you cannot pick your own. Typically, this would be the main entrance. However, due to circumstances right now, they're having you enter through the back and exit through the front. Masks are required to enter, and they ask that you remain six feet apart with your social distancing. The setup is quite a bit different this year. Typically, there would be stands here where you could buy bushels of apples, but that's not available this year. They do have plenty of jams and syrups though. This apple butter is $5.90 for 19 ounces. The pumpkin butter is the same price. All right, and they do have apples. There's several different varieties. They have Cortland, Jonah Gold, Empire, and Northern Spy, and quite a bit more down that way. And the apple prices, quarter peck is $4.50 for a bag. That would be one of these which looks to be about eight apples. Other apples are the Ida Red and the Golden Delicious. In case you're wondering, quarter peck is about three to three and a half pounds and a half peck is about seven, six to seven pounds. Right here we have our apple cider. The half gallon of cider is $4.70. I don't know if you can see that because of the glare. There's a list of their prices and the different offerings that they have. So half a dozen of the apple spice with cinnamon and sugar donuts was the same price as our cider, it was $4.70. So for under $10, you can get a half a dozen of the donuts and a half gallon of cider. And then we paid a little bit more for the apples. Well, the donuts are delicious and the same can be said about this cider. We're here at the Partialville Grist Mill in Fenton, Michigan. And while they do not have an actual orchard here, they do sell cider and donuts. Here's the front side of the Grist Mill. One other thing I forgot to mention is that this is only a few minutes away from the last orchard and only a few minutes away from the next one we're going to. Just in case you're wondering what's in the cider, this is the variety of apples you can find in the cider here at the Grist Mill. Parshaville Cider Mill celebrating 150 years back in 2019, last year. Over here we'll find half pecks of apples, pumpkin butter, and apple butter. And these are a little bit more at a cost of $6.50 for 15 ounces, a smaller jar than what we found over at Mark Kelly Orchard. Now 
Now the half peck of apples is $7 here. The half gallon of cider here is $6. And over there they have a list of their prices. Half a dozen donuts, $6. So a half a dozen donuts and a half gallon of cider. You're looking at $12, a little over the $10 we paid over at Markelly. They are making fresh caramel apples here as well. And of course, fresh donuts. The cider here at the Partialville Cider Mill is excellent. The donuts were warm and delicious as well. And now it's time to head off to the next orchard. So let's head off to Spicer's in Heartland, Michigan. Well, now we're at Spicer Orchards here in Heartland, Michigan. And this is quite a bit bigger than any of the orchards we've visited so far. In fact, it's so big this year, they have closed their parking lot and opened it up for seating and various events for the families and kids to enjoy. So it looks like they've added quite a bit of food this year. They have pulled pork sandwiches, cinnamon roasted almonds, roasted corn, loaded potatoes, walking tacos, corn dogs and elephant ears, lemon shakeups, whatever those are, and kettle corn. The kettle corn has always been here as far as I can recall. In the fall time, you can come here and get a bag of that kettle corn, it's delicious. And then back over that direction, you can see they have the winery and tasting room. All right, we're currently waiting to get inside to the store to get some cider donuts and take a look around. There's a line involved in getting inside, so we're gonna have to wait a little bit just to get in there. All right, so we've reached the entrance. We're about to head in in just a moment. All right. We sell quite a bit in the store. They've got some fudge, reduced sugar fudge, in fact. Different candies. You can even buy a Spicer's Orchards mask. $8.99. Kinds of assorted popcorns and kettle corns. Some decorative gourds and Indian corn. And over here we have the Honeycrisp apples. And a half a peck of Honeycrisp apples is $16.95. We have the half peck of Macintosh, which is $10.95. Over here we have the Jonah Gold, half a peck, $11.95. Over here we have the cider, and a half gallon of cider is $5.95. Over in the back over there they're making donuts, and if they are true to previous years, they will have a pumpkin spice donut, which is delicious. All right, now that we're a little bit closer, I can see that a half dozen of donuts is $5.95. $5.95, so about $12 for half a dozen donuts and half a gallon of cider. So the little booth over here, you have to check in in order to get to the playground. And it's $2 per person. Over here, they have an area where some of the farm animals are, the goats and whatnot, and you can buy food from little vending machines and feed the goats. In order to do so though, however, you have to go into the playground area, which is $2 per person. Spicer's also offers pick your own 
apples, and you can see there's quite a line for the pick your own. They take you out on a tractor hayride, out into the orchard to the areas that have apples that are currently ripe. Let's walk over, take a look at the prices and what apples are available right now. All right, guys, well, our next stop is Jenny's Farm Stand and Cider Mill. And we're gonna go see what kind of cider and donuts they might have. They also have pumpkins and some activities for the kids. So come along and let's check it out. Well, it certainly looks like they have quite a bit to offer. I see a sign that says free hay rides. They've got some Halloween inflatables in the background. It looks like the wagon has returned for the free hay rides. Back over that way. See some old carriages. Look at those old carriages back there. And at one time it looks like they had some pony rides here. But not today. Here we have another old buggy. Looks like there's a kid's play area over there where you can slide down the tubes. Yeah, it looks like a lot of their pumpkins are already gone, but they do have some larger pumpkins and they run about $12 each. And just to give you an idea, that's how big they are. It looks like these are what's considered jumbo pumpkins and they run $14 a piece. And just to give you an idea of these, they're pretty big. These are some good sized pumpkins. All right, we're gonna head over to this section right now. Take a look at the kids area with the slides and hay bales. So it turns out they do have some smaller pumpkins up towards the front. And these are only $8. And maybe these ones on the wagon are five? That's not too bad. They have gourds here as well, and the gourds are $1 each. Spiced peaches, pickled baby beets, pears, bread and butter pickles over on this side. Blueberry jam, peach habanero jam, strawberry jalapeno jam. These are $5 a piece. And the canned goods are $6.99. Not quite sure if these prices are up to date. The sign looks a little bit aged. And this cooler is completely empty. But if that's right, it's only $5 for half a gallon and that's not a bad price at all. They have apples here, as well as cider. The cider is $5 for a half gallon and $8 for a gallon. That's a really good price for the cider. The apples, $10 a bag for half a pack of Honeycrisp. All right, well, we ended up getting a half a dozen donuts and a half gallon of apple cider for just $10. Not a bad deal. So Jenny's Farm Stand also has a petting zoo. Look at this little guy. 
sticking his head out of the gate. He's looking for some food. How you doing? We got another one back here. And there's also a goat up there on the roof. Back over here, we've got some chickens. And in the distance over there, some ducks. And walking way back there along the fence, there's a turkey. Over here, we've got a closer look at those chickens and a couple of the goats. And right back over there, that's that turkey. How we doing, buddy? Looks like we got another horse over here. Well, we decided to hop on the hayride. Not quite sure where he's taking us, but we're going along for the ride. Well, hey guys, we've reached our next cider mill. This is a cider mill, not an orchard. They do have fresh donuts, cider, activities for the kids more than most places. Most of those activities are free. This is Three Cedars in Northville, Michigan. So let's go check it out. One of the other things that Three Cedars offers is they have different areas. You can see the smoke back in the distance where you can rent a bonfire pit for small parties. As you can see, we are here on a Sunday. It is very crowded today. Quite a bit of people. Almost impossible to maintain that six foot social distancing that they're calling for. I would say they're at capacity or more. One of the things I wanted to point out is that this building typically houses a bunch of porta potties and they're chained together and they look like little outhouses. And normally there's a background soundtrack playing inside that features chickens and cows and horses and all kinds of farm animals playing in the background. But it wasn't on today. Three Cedars has grown quite a bit over the years. It's now at a point where they kind of need a map to guide you to various things throughout the property. Well, this barn known as the Three Cedars Farm General Store usually features a spectacular Halloween display as well as many things you can purchase inside. Let's take a walk in there and see what they've got this year. Thank you. 
I think we've skipped a holiday. What I failed to mention is that Three Seaters also has a spectacular Christmas display. And usually you can meet Santa Claus upstairs in this barn and have your picture taken with him. It looks like they've already decorated this room for the upcoming Christmas season. All right, there we go, back to the right season. Alright, here's the donut hut. We're gonna head inside and get some cider and donuts. And there is a bit of a line to get those cider and donuts. Alright, so some of the most expensive cider we've had so far on this cider mill tour, half a gallon is $7. And the donuts for a half dozen is $7. So $14, half dozen donuts. Half a gallon of cider. Right outside the building where you get the donuts, there is a nice seating area. And they have a fire pit and also a fireplace with plenty of seating so you can sit down and relax on these cold fall days. And now let's take a walk over and take a look at the playground area. playground area is completely free for the kids. You can even come over here and milk a cow, believe it or not. Although it is a fake cow. Over here we have an outhouse. I wonder what's inside. I guess we'll leave him to his own business. Look at all those chickens and the eggs. There's a button down here you can push. I think they're making noise, it's just not very loud. Oh, there goes the eggs. They're laying eggs, believe it or not. Around the backside of those chickens is a real chicken. 
And you can buy food to feed these animals. The little vending machines, I think it's a quarter. You put a quarter in, you get a handful of food to feed them. Over in this area, we have the three little pigs. And there is a pig inside that middle house. He's just not coming out to play with us. Again, here's those vending machines that was saying, you can buy food to feed the animals. And back over there, that's Mary's little lamb. Laying down inside the Three Cedars School. This is the back side of the donut hut and there's more seating out here. Typically, I don't believe these tables and chairs are set up here, but they are because of our current condition. They've also got a tent with tables and chairs. And right behind me is the Country Jamboree. It's an animated show where they play instruments and sing to you. Calm down there, dude. Ain't nobody got no bacon for you today. But what we do got for you is song. And I bet the boys and girls here know it too. And if you do, sing along there. Now the country jamboree is not free. You have to pay a dollar. Somebody inserted a dollar and then walked off. But uh, if you want to watch that, it'll cost you a dollar. There's more animals over here in the petting zoo. Over here, we get a couple of billy goats. And they are looking for food. They are probably trained when they hear that little crank turning on the vending machine that it is dinner time. Yep. Over in this area, we've got Peter Cottontail and friends. A couple of fluffy white rabbits. And as I mentioned before, there's plenty of play area for the kids. This is a jungle gym type playground. And there's a slide that the kids can go down and a tower they can climb up in and all kinds of fun stuff to do. Here's a view of the backside of the play area. You can see several of the slides coming out different areas of the small play barn. This particular area has been closed off for this year. And I'm assuming that's due to the uh, current condition once again. Usually, this would be filled with corn kernels. And it's kind of like a uh, sandbox, but it's a corn kernel box that the kids can play in. They have digging machines and stuff for them to dig in there. And most kids absolutely love playing in here. They have a miniature train ride over here and it goes around the playground. Uh, this particular train ride is $4 for a ticket for each child that rides. Well, hey guys, Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this fall trip with us, please remember to give the video a big thumbs up and don't forget to click on that compass so you can subscribe and stay up to date when we release future videos. Don't forget, adventure is just a short drive away.